Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2. Right, I think I might have overlooked something in the last video. I think it was a bit of a puzzle, but I thought it was uh, just part of the background. I thought there was nothing to it. Right, so off almighty, that is loud. So what I have to do is I have to... It's still freaking loud. I have to backtrack here. Because these two rooms... I don't know why I keep saying these two rooms, because you don't know which ones I'm referring to, maybe. But either way, there was an, a room with nooses in them, and another room with dead bodies suspended. And I think those two rooms were correlated somehow. I just thought it was Silent Hill being funny, a bit abstract. So, uh, yes. I could have done more in the last video, but of course I was being a bit of a numbskull. It can happen, okay? It can happen. I don't claim to be a gaming genius. I never once made that claim. So yeah, there's nooses here. I didn't interact with them because I didn't think I could. Can I? There's a rope hanging from the ceiling. Will you pull it? Uh, I... I guess I will, maybe? Oh, James, what are you doing? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Okay, I don't think it did anything except lowered the noose. Uh, right, 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 right. Let's read over this again, shall we? Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone grey. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, served him to his hungry guests, and gave them seconds on request. The next one, with his smile and sweet, stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed on savoury, he sold them into slavery. Breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright, filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in the rain he wasn't done when the ink he'd used did start to run. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff with no place to turn. The spy stranger to his town locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Round their necks the noose be tied. I still don't get that. It's correlated to the nooses somehow. So they're all killed. But there is another bit of a, a notice here or something. Can I interact with it? Ah. Okay, I did not see this before. Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. Only the sinless one. Okay, I need to read all this again. So the sinless one. Right. First one killed the butcher man. Okay, that was murder. The next one to be smile sweet. Stole children off the streets. So kidnapping to the men he who dressed in slavery. Sold them into slavery. Yeah. Yeah, kidnapping. Uh, selling slaves. Okay, both of those are crimes. Breaking into a home at night. So this guy was a thief. The artist with his daunting skill. Tried to send a painting bills. Cottery. Uh, okay, this guy... Committed forgery. Okay, another thief. Arson. Hold on. Uh, three houses into ashes burned. Sheriff with no place to turn. Did spy stranger to his town. Locked him up and beat him down. Okay. Stranger. So there's no proof. There's nothing connecting him to, to arson here. It just seems like the stranger who was hung for arson was hung because he was a stranger. So it seems like he was innocent. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna go back into the other room and see what awaits me. Probably nothing nice. Hello? Anyone out here? No, not yet. Wait, I think I read the notes on these people's faces before did I the man was hung for the crime of swindling justice and revenge have been served okay swindling got it got it man was hung for the crime of thievery okay so he was a thief 
Man was hung for the crime of counterfeiting. Oh, yeah. Counterfeiting forgery. Same thing. This man was hung for a crime of arson. Justin and revenge have been served. Ow. Oh, okay, so he might be the innocent one. I got you, buddy. I got you. So if I pull the rope that's connected to him or that correlates to him, that should do something. Oh, fuck off. No, not today. Not today, you see. Not today. Get down, you go. Oh, there's another one. Don't spit up on me. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Wait, there's another one. Oh, crap of almighty. Oh, God, 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 God. No, no, no. It took four bullets? See, normally it's three. Alright, you're getting a little tougher now. Right. So, if I'm assuming, if I'm assuming correctly, all I have to do is pull on this rope and something will happen. Maybe, maybe not. There's a rope hanging from the ceiling. Will you pull it? Yes. Right, so uh, something has spawned in the other room, or... Oh my god. I hate you with a passion. Would you stop scuffing around? Jesus Christ, get a hobby. What? How? I, st I stamped on you. Good God. So, will anything have changed here? Oh, something did change. Yes, the guy, the guy who was, uh, who, who did, who didn't commit arson, that, that buddy's gone. I got the key of the persecuted. The paper down was covering the corpse's face is lying here. <gasps> key of the persecuted. Can I use that on the door back here? There was a door with cuffs on it. I mean, it seems about right. I used the key to persecute it. Oh, okay, sweet. So, pray tell, how far in hell will I go this time? Will I meet Pyramid Head again? Maybe, maybe not. Also, I think Pyramid Head might be a little miffed with me because I stole his great knife. What a name. Great knife. I mean, the great knife is the size of, is, is the size, is the size of Cloud's Buster Sword. So I don't know why it's called a great knife. I don't know. Name suggestion, great vivisector. That sounds better. Seriously, great knife. Like, what does Pyramid you do with it in his spare time? Use his great knife on his great stick of butter to butter his great loaf of bread. Or slice of bread, I should say. Maybe, who knows. Oh, we're in Maria cell. Uh-oh. Maria? Uh -oh. Maria? Maria. Wait, what, what happened? happened to you? Take the words right out of my mouth. Why? Why? Damn, she's got a great pair of legs. Just saying. She's beaten to death. Oh man, that's not cool. That's not one bit cool. Man. Can 
I go back in? There's nothing else for me in this room. There's nothing more that I can do here. I don't want to, but I'll have to just leave her here like this. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, I missed this the first time. All right. So, Maria is dead yet again, although I don't believe that. She'll probably pop back into reality sooner or later. She, she's not really dead. She's just sleeping. So, am I done in the whole maze area now? Because I really don't want to face off against Pyramid Head. You know, I'm pretty sure I'd destroy him with his own knife. Oh. Oh, we're a graveyard. An epitaph is inscribed here. Wait, inscribed? Inscribed or encrypted? I thought it was inscribed, not inscribed. Maybe that's just a translation error. This felon drank one last bottle of ale before he's executed and laid here to his eternal rest. Okay. Oh, oh, what are these bullets? Shotgun shells, even better. The name on the tombstone is too scratched up to read. What else is new there? Oh, 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 look, more shotgun shells. Wait, I'm getting shotgun shells for days. Name on the tombstone is too scratched up to read. Alright, like most tombstones nowadays. The name inscribed on the tombstone, Miriam K. Traitor. Okay, what? What does that mean? Well, I know what a traitor is, but what does it have to do with my situation? I don't know any Miriam K. in this game. I can't read that either. What about this? Wait, did I read this one already? I didn't. Oh, look, a saving point, so, nope, gotta do a quick save. Alright, done so. Oh, shotgun shells again, lovely. Any more goodies lying about here? No? That's all of them? Yeah, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a name inscribed on the tombstone. Walter Sullivan. Yes, he is an antagonist in Silent Hill 4, The Room. He's the child killer. Yeah, I know my Silent Hill lore. What about it? And there is a few graves here as well. Freshly dug by the looks of it. And Poole will probably be needing loads of those. There's a name inscribed on the tombstone. Eddie Dombrowski, so that's probably foreshadowing his death, maybe. Angela Orozco. Wait, is she dead? The crazy woman. You get these tombstones, they just might be foreshadowing their deaths. Will I go down? I suppose I will have nowhere else to go. Okay, what scary things await me down here? Ooh, long dark tunnel. Very foreboding. What, no mood lighting or anything like that? Nothing to really give me the chills? Alright. Oh, oh, look, red light. Never mind. They did turn up the mood lighting, just what I wanted. Wait, is that my light? Okay, I don't quite get that, but whatever. Oh, cutscene time, so... Gotta be quiet. No, oh, Eddie! Ah, oh, who did you murder this time? What are you doing? What does it look like? You always busted my balls. Sick. Badass, you 
you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. Words of wisdom right there. Yeah, you're taking things a little too hey, far. Have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Oh. Well, either he has a very bad shot or James has good reflexes. Either way, I think this would be a time to really flex my muscles and take out the great knife. And see how great it really is. Don't do it! Ow. Did you sucker punch me, you fat shit? Oh! Is that all it took? Really? One hit? God, I love this weapon. But you know what? Fair play to the guy. He did manage to land one hit. I guess I'll take out the shotgun now. Reload it for good measure. So what goodies do we have in this room? What? Lots of ammo. Rifle shells. And even more shotgun shells. Anything else? No, not a. Speaking of which, just gotta check my ammo situation. 107 shotgun shells, lovely. 32 rifle rounds, also lovely. And 222 bullets. 224, well, 10 in chamber as well, so I'm doing good. These will last me for ages. So is this going to be like a final showdown type of deal? Yeah, I, I think so. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why. Eddie, you're really messed up, boy. You're gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Exactly. Don't get all holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. Okay, get away from me with your shit-eating grin. There's only one treatment for you, and that's a shotgun. Uh, actually, you know what? Screw it. You don't even deserve the shotgun. You're not worthy of the shotgun. No, my friend. What you need is the great knife. Now hold still. Boy, I'm gonna clap you. If I can get close to you, that is. Jesus, why the hell are you strutting away from me? Come on, closer, closer, closer. Yeah, just like so. Oh, God, the AI in this is nuts. He, 
He gives no fucks. Zero fucks. Come on. One last slice. One last slice. There we go, buddy. <laughs> what was that? That was the world's Eddie? easiest boss fight. Eddie? I... I killed a... human being. Eh. I don't consider people who kill dogs human. So I don't feel too bad. Come on, James, don't dwell on it. So, do I get to keep his gun now? Mary. Did you really die three years ago? More than likely, but either way, what I want to know is can I get his gun? Wait, one last shot. That did nothing. Wait, really? I don't get his gun. He still has it in his hand and it's just sitting there longly wanting to be picked up. And James, what are you staring at? You're staring at the gun but you won't pick it up. Or are you just staring at Eddie? No, I, I, I can't pick it up. I, I can't pick up the revolver. Oh, of all the guns I could want, it's got to be the revolver, yet I can't pick it up. I don't know, unless it's unlockable by playing on hard mode or something. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Oh, we're outside now. Okay. Boat launch. Oh, I get it. I, I think we're going to ride the boat to the hotel. What is it called? Luca Lake Hotel or something like that? Yeah, and I think that's going to be the last part of the game. But I doubt I'll get it completed in one playthrough. If I don't get it done in this video, I'll get it done in the next. Alright, done so. So getting to the hotel should be a straight shoot. Maybe. Like, do we actually row the boat? Or is it just going to be a, a huge ass, long ass cutscene? Hmm, yeah, it just looks to be a cutscene. Handy. All right, there he goes. Oh. Okay, we have to row here ourselves. How do we get there? Is it just a straight shot forward, or is there something else entirely to, different to it? Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. I think I might have to row towards light if I can get, if we can get the boat straight. Okay, perfect. No, 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 no. It's stop spinning. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now we're in a straight line. Well, as straight as we can be. If I can. If I can just get that light directly behind my head, I should be golden. There we go. Because the last thing I want to do is bump into any invisible walls that get stuck and be you know, stuck here in, perpe in perpetuity. I almost choked on my own words again. Am I getting any bit closer? Eh, I think I am, but I just need to straighten out just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Ah, 
Okay, I think that's as straight as I'm going to get, or as close to straight as I'm going to get. Yeah, it's it's getting brighter. So I'm definitely heading in the right direction. Alright, here we are. So the question is, what terrors await us in the hotel? You know, I don't really care, just as long as it's not the nurses, because those things are the scariest monsters I've seen. And actually, now that I think about it, Silent Hill 2 is uniquely different from Silent Hill 1, because I think Silent Hill 2 is focusing more so on the psychological aspect of horror, whereas Silent Hill 1 was more like survival horror. Uh, this place hasn't changed at all in three years. I'm guessing because it's unoccupied. But yeah, this is more the psychological aspect. Uh, Silent Hill 1 was more like the survival aspect. Because if you think about it, the monsters in Silent Hill 2, their manifestations of James's emotions, desires and whatnot, I think they all represent something. Whereas the monsters in Silent Hill 1, they were manifested from... Alyssa's hatred, so it, it actually affected the world around her. Wait, did I call her Alyssa? What's that? Alyssa, Alyssa, yes. Alyssa Gillespie. Yeah, her hatred just caused the world around her to turn to gobbledygook. I just want to explore the open area, and what is this? I got a little mermaid music box. Yeah, that's nice. I'm guessing it might be a key item. Maybe, maybe not. Right, not, not going through that gate. Just want to explore the grounds thoroughly. I don't want to miss a goddamn thing out here. And I don't think there is anything to miss. Alright. Glad we got that out of the way. Alright, and first things first, grab the map. Gonna need it. Waiting for you, room 312. Oh! Okay, so we'll get to see Miri. Maybe. Maybe to go with Miri. Alright, it is way too quiet. Right, I just want to get my bearings here. Oh, the map is kind of upside down. Gotcha. So, down the stairs is the lobby. There's Cafe Luca. Down this way, there's the men's room. Ladies. And E for elevator, I assume, and restaurant Lakeshore. Alright. Okay. Well, we'll just get started on these rooms here, I guess. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the lobby. Uh, as soon as I'm here, I might as well explore. Oh, another save point. Okay, so mandatory save. And done. And I don't suppose there's anything out here. No, can't leave the hotel just yet. Oh. And this looks to be a clock of some kind. There's a rectangular indentation. There's a plate in front of the indentation and something is engraved on it. Seat of the princess who awoke from death. Snow White? Is that it? Play the music box. Eh, might as well. Doesn't sound quite right. Is this music box broken or maybe? Wait, I picked up a, a little music box thing, didn't I? But it was a little mermaid. Oh, I think I get it, I get it. There's a rectangular indentation. There's a plate in front of the yeah yeah, okay. See it up to Francis who walk from death. Wait, what? 
Seat of the princess who fled at midnight. Oh, okay. Cinderella. Gotcha. So I'm going to need another two music boxes, maybe. And this clock will do something scary or spooky. Just play it in front of the indentation or something. is engraved on it. Seat of the princess who spoke no words. That is the little mermaid. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. So I just put that here. I put down the Little Mermaid music box. Play the music box now. Yes, I know well it's not going to do anything special. Guest shop. Oh, I'd like to buy some guests. Oh no. Oh well, there go my hopes and dreams. And oh, okay, there's a key behind there and just something else. Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot is being kept in the office on the first floor. Right, so I'll need to collect that at some point. First things first, I need to grab this key. There's no keys in the box, despite there being a key in the box right in front of me. Oh no, you have to be very pixel perfect with this game. Oh, the room to key to... The room to... <laughs> The key to room 312. Okay. The room where Mary and I stayed. Lovely. Broken. Typical. Typical. All the doors in Silent Hill are broken. Well, at least 60% of them. God, don't they have any, any janitors to fix those? Guess not. Uh. More exploring. Broken. Mm hmm. Typical. Broken. Broken? Oh no. Wait, what? 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 Get away from me. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna waste good shotgun shells on you. Not a hope. Want to pack? One more step, one more step, that's all you need. Oh! Get slaughtered. Yeah, what are you looking at? I see ya. Come on, get over here. Oh! Yeah, smut. Wait, is it still alive? Oh, no, definitely dead now. Definitely dead. Oh, good lordy Lou. I am so low in health. Thank God I have plenty of medicates. And I should take out my shotgun or my... No, handgun. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, so what are... What is in these rooms? Probably nothing. Maybe nothing, but probably something. James is looking a little intrigued here. <gasps> bullets for days! Handgun bullets, handgun bullets, handgun bullets. What else? Rifle shells. Anything else, James? Anything else of interest? No, no, he's not tilting his head. Right. Okay, so plenty of bullets, plenty of handgun bullets. How many do I have now? 244. Lovely. Lock is broken. Okay, so all of these rooms on this side have been checked out. Right, 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 right. So it just leaves these two here. Restaurant, Lake Shore, and the elevator. And going by previous experience, the elevator is probably going to be broke down. Just got to check this out first. Yeah, nothing happens. Of course. Nothing scary in here, is there? No, but there is something of intrigue that James is longingly staring at. It's over here.
fish key. Yeah, I like all these abstract names for keys. Fish key, chrysalis key, off key piano key. Oof. Haunted piano? Is that you? Did I scare you? Oh, it's you. Yeah, you little you squirt. Did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? Well, you I haven't found her yet. Is. Tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Want to read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. Hmm, aren't you the little thief? My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quite beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me. But please, give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Aww. Wait, so if Mary died three years ago, that would make Laura 11. But she doesn't look 11. She looks younger. So what, is Laura a ghost or what, some sort of guiding spirit? And like how the hell is she still even wandering around Silent Hill without a scratch? Like it's, it's like she doesn't even see the monsters. She hasn't mentioned anything about monsters. There's something deeper going on here, I just know it. Your friend forever, Mary. Turned eight last week. Wait, last week? So Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talk a lot about Silent Hill. She even shows me all of her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura. I'm totally confused about Laura. Like, like what? Is she some sort of like spirit or, or something or what? Because she couldn't have turned eight last week. Because this game is set three years after Mary's death. Oh jeez, it, it really goes deep. It really goes deep. It really gets you thinking. It really gets the old brain muscles going. Not that I have much of those to begin with. And what? What's that? What is that? What the? What am I hearing? Am I in danger? Oh, I am so in danger. I'm so in danger. I'm so in danger. I'm so in danger. I'm not even going to bother with the great knife because that thing is barreling towards me. Like it wants to kill me. It does want to kill me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second, buddy. How are there... How have you respond here? I thought... I thought this was Angela's own manifestation of her own guilt or her own sins or something like that 
This was supposed to be her dead, or a manifestation of her dead, of what she believed to be her dead. How is there two of them roaming about? Okay, I, I, I don't know. No, I, I don't know. It's weird. This game is weird. Uh, right. Where, where am I now? And oh sh shoot, my controller died. Lovely, of course. Right on time. Whoa, Jesus! I got reload faster, would you? Oh God, there's another one. There's another one. Okay, that was a little scary. Just a little scary. And what do we have here? I got a can of thinner. Thinner. What? Like paint thinner? Small can filled with thinner. It was lying on the inside of the elevator. Okay, that's going to be used for something or other. Can I actually use this elevator? Nope. Unless I have to be pixel perfect, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Okay, so are there any other doors that need to be unlocked or opened? Ooh, this one. Nope. No, lock is broken. Okay. Fan Debbie Dozy. So the only other place. Oh, there's an upstairs. But how long have I been recording? Is the question I keep asking. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Um. I do have work in the morning. I left this video or left the recording of this video very late. So, uh, yeah, that would be a wrap, I guess. So, I really did want to finish this up in one part, but I guess it will have to be left to another video whenever I'll get time to record another one. But, uh, yeah, you know, the game is getting very interesting. I'm finally getting to grips with, like, the lore, the, uh, how to say the mentality of the game, the psychology of the game. I'm really getting it. I'm really getting into it. It makes me question everything about the game. The manifestations of monsters, what they represent. The characters themselves, like why they're here, what brought them to Silent Hill. What are their own backstories and whatnot. It, it's really interesting. A very good, very good game. That's why I can't wait for the remake to come out. If it comes out, when, whenever it comes out. I'm thinking maybe towards the end of the year we might get a bit of an update or it might be released. If not, possibly next year. And I don't mind waiting. I really don't mind waiting. Now, it's being developed by Bloober Team. Bloober Team have made... They've made games. Uh, I think, actually, what game did they make recently? I think... Didn't they develop or had they some involvement with Layers of Fear, I think? I think they have, yeah. There's a fear I did play through the first game. Mm. It was okay, I guess. It was alright, a bit repetitive, but it's nothing I'd want to revisit. In fact, I'm not really too gone on playing the other layers of fear games, or layers of fear, I should say. So, I hope they do Sand Hill 2 Remake Justice. I hope I can I can only assume that they'll do justice. I'm not gonna assume the worst. But uh yeah, either way, Silent Hill 2 remake can't wait for it, and of course there's gonna be other Silent Hill games as well. But uh yeah, that about does it for this video, guys. So enough rambling for me, you know what to do. If you did enjoy it by some freaking miracle, God bless you if you did. Be sure to give a massive thumbs up, come favorite here, and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So until next time. See ya.